Hello everyone, Dom here. In this video, I'm going to show you five ways, five techniques to make your vocals wide in Cubase, even if you only have one single vocal available. Let's get started. So let's get started. I'm going to use a single vocal take and I'm going to assume that we don't have any backing vocals or any alternative takes to make this take wider. So let's have a listen. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. Okay, this sounds good. Obviously, it's completely mono. Let's say I want to make this wider. The first technique that I'm going to use, we've already talked about in the previous video, and that's the Haas effect. So what I'm doing, let me open my channel settings, is I'm adding a stereo delay plugin on the channel, and I'm using these settings. So what am I doing here? The left channel remains untouched, so it's all the way to dry, and the right channel has 25 milliseconds of delay, it's all the way to wet, feedback to zero, and panning all the way to the right. So let's have a listen. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. So as you can hear, the vocal now completely pops out of the speakers. It's super wide. To be honest with you, I would use this effect sparingly in pop tracks if I wanted to highlight some phrases, you know, when you have a single vocal in the middle and then a specific phrase spread out so that it pops out. Maybe this shouldn't be used in the lead vocal as a rule, but it's great if you want to make some parts of the vocal shine. So maybe you can duplicate the track that has the lead vocal and on the second track you can add this effect and only use it when you want to. Let's move on to the second way that you can make your vocals wide. And this is using a reverb with early reflections ambience. So let's listen to this. I have my vocal right here and I'm sending this, as you can see, to three different send effects. In this case, we're going to check out the vocal widener. So this is just an effects channel in Cubase stereo and I'm using the revelation reverb. So let's have a listen and I'm going to pull my fader up so that we can hear what happens when I start introducing it. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. So what I'm doing here is I have this revelation reverb all the way, almost all the way to early reflections. I have a very, very short pre-delay and I'm using this to add this sense of width to my vocal. Now, in order to make this work even better, what I'm doing is I have some EQ settings on my channel settings here. So what I would do is I would probably filter this. I'm removing some of the low mids and some of the mids here so that the frequencies don't clash with each other with my lead vocal, but I'm also adding quite a bit of top end. I'm going to add this effect sparingly to make this vocal super wide. So again, let's play it and let's see how it sounds. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on So you hear the vocal sounds really spacious and wide, but you can't really put your finger on what is it exactly that makes it wide. It doesn't sound like a reverb because it's just early reflections, but we're using the width of these early reflections to incorporate a little bit of wideness to our vocals. Now, another thing that you can do is you can add a stereo enhancer after the reverb to make this effect even more pronounced. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. Now, let's listen to it in the context of a mix. So you can hear it's a big difference and it gives you this typical pop vocal sound. So 
That's the second way. Let's move on to the third way that you can make your vocals wide. And that's a plugin that we have in Cubase called Cloner. And this is a really powerful plugin. It allows you to have variations. It allows you to duplicate the signal and you can have it spread across the panorama. You can detune it, you can delay it. So you get, get the sound multiplied, but you can also have an incredible spread. So let's have a listen. I'm using this on this vocal now as an insert effect, but I like using it as a send effect as well. So let's have a listen. First, let's listen without it. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. And now with it. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. So this sounds a little bit like an echo. Most of the times I like playing with the delay values here and coming up with different sounds. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. Stay with me all night. And as you can see here, I'm using just two duplicates of my voice. You can add up to four. Let's have a listen. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. So you can tell it's a really, really powerful tool and all you need to do is just experiment with the detuning, the delay, the humanized values here. You can also have a dry and wet mix. Of course, if I use it as a scent effect, I like to go all the way wet so that I don't have the original signal in there. But even as an insert, it works really nicely. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. So it can give you a completely different flavor compared to the Haas effect. Now, let's move on to the next technique, which is really, really interesting, really simple. And this is by duplicating your vocal channel a couple of times. So as you can see here, I have the original vocal and then I just duplicate it a couple of times. If you want to duplicate any channel in Cubase, all you need to do is right click and just hit duplicate tracks. So now I have three copies of the same track. Now check what I do here. First of all, I'm going to emulate the Haas effect. So for the first channel, I'm panning it all the way to the left. Okay. And for the second channel, I'm panning it all the way to the right. So for this one, maybe I want to have a delay of 30 milliseconds and you can set the delay per channel here in the inspector. Really powerful tool and you can miss it very easily. Then if I go here, I can have 25 milliseconds of delay. So let's have a listen. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. Now, one of the things that I like to do is add a little bit of EQing, different types of EQ on the left and right duplicated channels. And this will also give you like a pseudo stereo effect. But another thing that I like to do, which is really fun, is I like to create this modern pop style effect with this duplicated channel. So what I do is I add a pitch correct instance on each one of these channels and then I transpose one down one octave and I shift it a little bit and for the other one I transpose one octave higher and then I'm shifting a little bit as well. So now let's listen to how this sounds and you can have multiple variations of this effect. You can use pitch shifting, you can use compression, you can use EQ, you can use all sorts of effects to create interesting results. Let's have a listen. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. Stay with me all night, wanna know you inside, touch on me now. And this I keep low in the mix, I don't want this to be too obvious. Let's have a listen. You know, maybe a little bit of distortion, maybe a little bit of reverb to these vocals. You can come up with some really, really cool stuff. Now, the fifth and last way that I want to show you today to widen your vocals is use modulation effects as effects channels, so as scent effects. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull down these faders and then I'm going to go to my vocal 
and I'm sending this to this effects channel here. And as you can see, I have several effects here. I have an auto pan, I have the cloner, I have the phaser, but in this case, I'm going to use the auto pan a little bit. Let's listen to how this sounds. I'm going to pull this fader up and we can hear how this sounds with the auto pan effect as a send effect this time. Again, this is taking the vocal and it's moving it left and right. I won't use this all the time for my vocal because it can be a little bit annoying, but for some interesting effects, you can turn the rate up and you can create some really interesting, almost like rotary effects. So let's have a listen. So you can see the sound goes left and right, and that's in addition to the lead vocal. It gives you this kind of strange effect. I wouldn't use it all the time. I would use it sparingly. I would just use it as a send throw, but you can also turn up the rate and you can use it for more choppy, more rhythmic effects. Let's have a listen. Again, because you can automate this fader here, this you can use it sparingly when you see fit. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn off auto pan now and I'm going to do the same with the phaser. And this can also add a little bit of movement and a little bit of interest to your vocals, make them wide at the same time. And of course, if you want to use the phaser, make sure that the special control here is turned all the way up so that you can get this width for your vocals. So these are five ways to make your vocals wide in Cubase. There are way more, but I think that with these, you can create a really wide range of special effects, even if you have just a single vocal to work on. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.